Hey everybody, welcome back. Today, I'll be telling you how to level up fast in Blocks Fruits. Let's get straight into it. First, I would just like to say that you should probably get a Loggia Fruit. Loggia Fruits are fruits that if you're above the level of your opponent, and your opponent is not using enhancement, then they can't do any damage to you. Logia fruits include smoke, flame, ice, sand, dark, light, and magma. The best Logia fruit to use for farming is either light, because of how fast it flies, or magma, because of the damage and error of attack. Now that I got that out of the way, let's continue. So what you are going to want to do as soon as you start out is if you're a marine, just come over here to the marine leader and get the quest from him to defeat five trainees. And then, well, just defeat five trainees. It's not too hard, but it's also not too easy for your level. And keep on doing this quest until your level is 15. Once you are level 15, grab a boat and come over here to the jungle. Once you're at the jungle, come into the center and talk to the adventurer. You can do the monkey's quest, which is level 10. But why I say to be level 15 is because of this. The monkeys are level 14. So if you have a Logia fruit, you will take no damage from them at all. I don't though. I have Quake, so it can just go die. So once you have level 20, come over and do the gorillas. The gorillas are all the way on that separate island. So you just come to the separate island and defeat these gorillas. And then when you're about level 25 to level 30, I recommend you get the Gorilla King quest. Because Logia fruits don't work on bosses. So even if I had a Logia fruit right now, the boss would still damage me. After you have killed the Gorilla King and the Gorillas a lot of times and gotten to level 35, go to the Pirate Village, which is right over there in the distance. Once you have come to the Pirate Village, go to the pirate adventurer and get the pirates quest the pirates are level 35 so if you're level 36 or higher you won't take damage from them if you have a logia fruit or chop so just go around and defeat them once you are level 45 get the brute quest once you've gotten the brute quest Go all the way past the pirates to the back. Right over here. See these? These are the brutes, and you have to kill 10 of them. So just go kill 10 of them. And when you are level 55, do the Bobby quest. The Bobby quest is the boss over here. Bobby can't get damaged by sword attacks, so as you can see, he's just dodging all my sword attacks and damaging me instead. So I recommend using your fruit or combat or whatever you have at that moment to defeat Bobby. Once you are level 60 to 65, go grab your boat and head over there to the desert. Once you are at the desert, 
always remember to set your spawn point in case you die and come to the desert adventurer get the desert banded quest when you're level 60 and kill these guys right here these four if there's not four that means either one or more has to respawn or one of them is like behind a building stuck somewhere then defeat these guys until you are level 75 once you are level 75 get the desert officer quest once you've gotten the desert officer quest come all the way over here past the pyramid all the way to the desert officers there's four of them as well so just beat them up and then once you've beat them up so many times that you're level 90 I recommend going back into your boat and going to the snow island the snow island is right over there that big lump so just travel around this to the snow island once you are at the snow island set your spawn come up here to the guy over here the villager and do the snow bandit quest the snow bandits are right along here in a nice line for you to demolish and then once you are level 100 come up here and there are four snowmen these four right around here r around the ice lake as you can see they're level 100 as well then once you're level 105 then you can do the yeti boss something great I recommend doing as soon as you can is come into this cave right down here and go to the ability teacher buy sky jump for 10,000 it lets you jump a lot of extra times in the sky like double jumps buy the enhancement to do more damage and have more defense and buy flash step so you can well teleport like I am doing now now once you are level 120 come over to the marine fortress it is also at the other side of the map over there in the distance once you are at the marine fortress get out of your boat and come over here set your spawn point and right here there's the quest giver do the chief petty officer quest it requires level 120 and they are scattered all along the island so there's one there one there and there's also a couple on that side as well do that until you're level 130 and then come back and get the chief admiral get the vice admiral quest and come up the stairs and here's the vice admiral just defeat him and just to note every five to six hours on the marine fort right here in the middle white beard spawns or in the game it's called gray beard it has a million health so i don't recommend you fight that until you're much higher level now once you're level 150 come all the way over to the skypian islands they are the big floating ones over there now once you are at the skypian islands you may be thinking wait how do we get onto the floating clouds well that's where the sky jumps that you could have bought at the snow island comes in handy you can just use them to come all the way up and then you can also use the teleport to teleport up these islands and keep on going up until you have reached the third floating island 
This is the third floating island. Set your spawn point right there and get the quest here. There's also a sneaky diamond chest, so grab that and gives you about 2,000 coins or money or berries. So come get the Sky Bandit quest when you're level 150. The Sky Bandits are the ones near the castle. There's four of them and just demolish them until your level 177 so go back up to the floating island get the next quest the dark 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 master yeah that's the name and just defeat these guys until you are level 200 once you are level 200 I recommend first thing you do is the Shanks quest, secret quest, puzzle to get Saber. Saber is like the best sword you can get in Old World, which is the world I'm in right now. So I recommend you do that as soon as possible. And then once you have gotten that, go over. To impel down which is this big prison looking thing which is again at the other side of the map impel down is that thing right there that my mouse is circling it looks like flatland with two poles coming out of it from the center once you are at Impel Down and have gotten Saber, come to the Head Jailer and do the Warden at level 200. That is this guy right here. Oh, no, don't kill me. And because there is no spawn point here, or save your spawn point, come over here. If you put your camera near to the sea, you can see these little rocks coming out of the ground. Just go over there, and there should be a save your spawn point person right there. So just do that before attempting Impel Dawn. Or Impel Down. For these bosses, I recommend once you kill them, to join a different server, and... If they are alive in that server, kill them and then join another server and continue that again and again. So kill this guy, Warden, until you are level 225. Then you can get the Warden quest and the Chief Warden, Warden, not Warden, and then kill both of them every time you join a new server. And then after, once you are level 250, get the swan quest. Swan is in here. He's like a guy with a pink coat. Uh, you have the chance to get the pink coat from him as a drop. I don't know what the chance is. Oh, look, he just spawned there. So just, uh, I mean, kill him until you are level... 279 there's also another quest you could have done once you are level 225 it is called the toga warriors but the reason I say not to do them is because bosses give bounty and if you have a million bounty I know it sounds like a lot but if you have a million bounty and you have saber if you have Saber equipped, and you kill someone, and you get some bounty from them, then your Saber will upgrade to Saber version 2, and do these epic new attacks. But you also have to be level 350. So, again, when you're level 279, getting your boat, and head to the Colosseum. 
which is the thing that the snow island right there is hiding. Once you are at the Colosseum, set your spawn point and come to the quest guy right over here and skip the toga warrior and go straight for the gladiator when you are level 279. The toga warriors are to the left of the Colosseum quest giver and the gladiators are to the right so these are the gladiators oh don't kill me once you have beaten these guys up a lot and you have reached level 300 head to the volcano the volcano is the mountain with the flying rings around it of smoke once you are at the volcano come out of your boat set your spawn point and come over here to the mayor and grab the mill soldier which is military soldiers grab that quest there's one there and one there and three over here one two three so defeat them until you're level 330 get the quest from the mayor and follow this path all the way around to these guys the military spies so beat these guys up until you're level 350 once you're level 350 come to the mayor and get the magma admiral quest to get up there you can either use your sky jumps or there's an entrance around the side where the military spies are. So you can just come through here, and there he is. Defeat the Magma Admiral until you are level 381. Be careful of his Lava Fist and uh, other lava thing. Once you are level 381, go to your boat, and remember where we set our spawn point for Impel Down? Well, that is where we need to head to right now. Once you are at the Fishman Islands, just come set your spawn point where you did for Impel Down, and then head into the portal. Once you're through the portal, come over to King Neptune and collect your first quest, the Fishman Warriors. The Fishman Warrior quest is right over here to the left of King Neptune. There's a couple of them and like there's one there, 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 one there, one there and one there. Do that until you are level 406 and get the next quest from King Neptune which is the Fishman Commando. That quest is all the way over here. And you have to kill these guys, the Fishman Commandos, until you are level 425. Once you are 425, get the Fishman Lord quest from King Neptune and come right in here and kill this guy, the Fishman Lord. He has two forms, so once you get him down to zero health he transforms into his next form keep on defeating him until you are level 458 once you're level 458 go to the s boat and go to the Skypian Islands again once you at the Skypian Islands Come all the way to the top. Before you do the next step, set your spawn point just in case you fall. Because the next thing you are going to do is jump over to that island over there. So use your sky jumps and you should make it. Then come to the mole right here and grab the God's Guard quest and defeat 
well, the God's Guards. Here's one, there's one, and there's some more over there. Once you are level 483, come over here into this room. You may be thinking, what? why is there clouds in the middle of a room? Well, that's because you're supposed to break them. So use an area of attack move to break the clouds and come through. Then set your spawn point here. Voila. And get the next mission from the mole, which is Shanders. Shanda. Either one. And just defeat these guys right here until you are level 500. Once you're level 500, get the next quest from Mole, which is Whisper. Whisper's over here, and be careful because, as I will demonstrate right now, Whisper has a bazooka. So, as you can see, it's really annoying, especially if you have Enhancement Haki, because it can knock you straight out of it. Now, once you are level three once you are level 535 come all the way over here on this tree branch to this right here Garn Fall Adventurer so just talk to them and get the Royal Squad quest the Royal Squad should be right in this side of the tree root so there's about five of them so just keep on killing them until you are level 560 once you are doing once you are level 560 get the royal soldier quest which is over this side of the roots there's one there 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 and there something else that's pretty cool is that you can come right here at the temple straight down through here and break this wall with an area of attack move and there are eight chests with roughly a thousand coins or berries in them each so you can get them and you can get pretty rich all right so after you have done the royal soldiers until you are level 575 get the next quest from Garnfall Adventurer which is Thunder God once you have gotten the quest come all the way past all of these royal soldiers and you can see that tiny figure in the background right there that is what you're going to kill the Thunder God just be mindful, do not stand too close to him for a prolonged amount of time because he does a giant area of attack move which damages all around him. And he also shoots lightning out of his stick, I think, or his pole. Once you are level 637, uh, get out of this place and you want to go to the fountain city Which is pretty hard to miss because it's the biggest thing in the entire map But it's at the opposite side of the map So it's that direction over there There should be a giant fountain right there You head to that and there's your next quests once you are at Fountain City, come through this thing up the stairs and set your spawn point. Then come to Freezeburg, the quest giver, and get the Galley Pirate quest. Once you've got the quest, you can go ahead and kill the Galley Pirates, which are over here. Do that until you will level 650. Grab the next quest from Freesburg, the Galley Captain, and head to the right. As you can see, there's a first Galley Captain right there, and there's another there, and two more. Oh, and there's a couple others as well. So you're going to want to kill these Galley Captains, 
until you are level 675. Once you are level 675, go to Freezeburg and get the Cyborg quest. Once you've gotten the Cyborg quest, just f come from over there all the way to this side island where Cyborg is. By the way, Cyborg shoots rocket missiles, so it's pretty annoying. Keep on killing Cyborg until you are level 700. Once you are level 700, you can go to the new world. If you enjoyed or found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.